Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Georgia on Deity Difficulty with a bunch of mods. If you want to see the mods that we are using, go ahead and check out episode zero. I talk about the game setup and all the mods that we're using, but let's just jump right into things. So I am tempted to move onto the amber. I'm going to find out a little bit more by moving this way. And I think yeah, moving onto the amber here will give me plus one um, culture and immediately an extra luxury that I could sell to the first AI that I meet. Um, it will move me away from this really, really nice wheat tile, however. Hmm. That makes it a little bit less easy of a decision. I'll still be in full range of all of these really nice floodplains that I can build farms on. But I think I'm going to move on to the amber for the benefits that I get, even if I lose out on this amazing food tile. Because I can purchase that tile very, very quickly. Now, let's go ahead and get started. I think I want to go for astrology here. I'd like to get a religion as Georgia. I think that makes it more interesting in a, from a gameplay perspective. Not only to play, but also to watch. Um, in terms of what I'm going to start out building, I'm thinking either a slinger or a scout and considering the position I'm in the map and the fact that the barbarians are set to an aggressive standing I think I'm going to go for the slinger here we'll kind of see how that pans out for us we're going to pop up onto this hill so there's some good mountains over here it's very likely that we'll be able to get some national parks in around here pop up here okay there is alexander this is kind of not really the kind of civil civilization i was hoping to meet in fact it's probably one of the civilizations i was hoping to meet the least because he is likely to come and try to declare war on me so i just need to keep an eye on his warriors to keep them out of my way Okay, yeah, that's a reasonable tile to work. Extra culture, so we have plenty of extra culture in the early game, which is really good, because culture is one of the things that could snowball you early game. I'm going to just shadow this warrior to discourage him from attacking me. I would love to go scouting, but it's just not an option um, at this stage in the game. I need, to, I need to let him know that my warrior is here watching him. And by having my warrior in position, yes, yeah, see, now he's going away. It's good. It is not wisdom. So I'd like to get an early pantheon, and even though urban planning is like clearly the better choice, I think I'm going to go for the uh, God King promotion here. I'm going to also put in the combat strength against barbarians. I think I'm going to go for foreign trade because I want to get to early empire very, very quickly. So let's get started on foreign trade. Also, I really love the Georgian music. We're going to do a little bit of scouting around here down in the desert. I think that's going to be useful for me. Um, now, normally I would rush a settler here, but because Alexander is so close to me, I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly grab a builder because that'll sync up nicely with astrology finishing and uh, go ahead and just see if I can get a couple of these farms online. That'll help this city kind of pump out population. Which is really, really nice, because that's going to make up for the fact that I can't go for early settlers because of Alexander um, being in my way. Okay, there are some really good defensive mountains here that are going to help keep me alive. And it looks like this is Rome as well over here, which is very concerning. We're now working the food tile. I don't want, I don't want my warrior or slinger to be too far away. It's an honor to meet you. I will go ahead and send a delegation to you as well. Uh, although I don't think I got the delegation with Alexander. I'm hoping to use Rome as an ally against Macedonia. I'm going to kind of just do a little bit of radio scouting. Again, I'm very worried about having two aggressive neighbors, so I don't want to send my units too far away. Oh my word. Um, I have literally found all three of the most aggressive civs in the game. Declare a friendship. Okay. Thankfully, Gilgamesh has a very unique thing where you can declare friendship on the very first turn that you meet him. So that's going to make up for a little bit of the danger that we're in. So having Gilgamesh on my side will mean he won't declare war on me and we can make good friends with him. Okay, let's pop down here a little bit for more information. Looks like there is some good coastal tiles down here. A lot of desert, which I'm not super happy about. Um, looks like we've been shafted on land a little bit. 
And we also didn't find any natural wonders, which is kind of saddening too. Let's keep exploring here. Builder should be done soon. So Alexander is denouncing me. I'm bringing my units back. It is just 100% necessary to bring my units back at this point. Let's bring them back. Yeah, look at this Rome as well. Your delegation is most welcome. I don't believe in astrology. Okay, there's astrology. I will be placing down a holy site. Now, oddly, I'm not getting any adjacency bonuses here. But that's okay, because we have the plus faith. So I think I'm going to put this here. We're going to choose production here. Um, we have astrology. I think I'd like to get to archery now. I want to be well defended. And I think archers are going to help keep me alive a lot better than most other things. Every nation it's going to be a very slow start here. Um, which is not typical, admittedly. But it will be... We should be able to recover just fine. Once we get to early Empire, I'll be in a much happier position to uh, expand. So we're working what look like reasonable tiles right now. That seems okay. You're going to just fortify here. I just want my city to feel defended. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very slow start here. But we should be able to make up for it. So let's get over here and drop the farm on the wheat. That's going to make this wheat tile even better. And it should be able to sustain our city to work a bunch of these other tiles. Um, I would maybe... I think I might go ahead and purchase like a production tile or two here. We'll drop a farm there. I could also go ahead and buy another farm here. Oh, I meant to sell... I meant to sell my amber, but it looks like he already has it. And so does he. Damn, that was a mistake I made. I should have sold my amber. We'll go to the next turn here. Goodbye. Yeah, we're in a pretty rough position, but I think we can do okay, you know? Um, it's just going to make the game more interesting. So I have two builder charges here. Um, I don't really have animal husbandry tiles that I can improve. So I think my best bet is to maybe buy some of these two food, two production tiles and just get working them. And I think I prefer the culture over the growth here. So this is just a little bit more efficient in tile layout. It's going to slow our growth by one turn, but it's going to speed up our production by two turns, which is very, very nice. I think I'm going to explore just a little bit now. I'm going to use my builder to explore too. May as well. He's not doing anything else. I could also settle on this sugar tile. Oh, it looks like there's a natural wonder over here. Damn, that's unfortunate. That I did not see that earlier. I would have 100% settled this if I'd seen it on my first turn. If there are no dogs in heaven. So this is the Motlatsi Canyon. Adjacent plot yields plus one culture, plus one science. And specialty districts proceed... Plus one of their respective yields on breathtaking plots for any civilization that owns at least one of these tiles. Okay, that's actually really, really good. I'm going to try and take over and settle over here. Um, probably going to settle like there. Let's make sure we try and block anyone from taking this over fully. This is going to be a huge sort of recovery mechanism for me. Oh, wow. Like right there. That's where I want to settle. Three science, three, three uh, culture. And hopefully that'll prevent anyone else from getting tiles of it. So don't be afraid to build or scout in your games. Um, if you have nothing to do with your builder, just scout carefully. Make sure you're staying in rough terrain. Um, you're not moving into tiles where there's uh, blind... And you could be walking, like, it's a bit dangerous to walk into some of these tiles, but, you know, scouting through forest is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I want to get down here as fast as possible. So 
So as much as I want the shrine and I want to do holy side prayers, I'm going to go for the settler first. Okay, and you're going to make your way back now. Probably will have to settle something in this desert. Probably like right there. To try and just get something of value out of the desert. Also didn't find any city-states, which is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, look at these. This thing looks great. I'm definitely settling that. All right, yeah, I think there's a viable city here on the coastline. It's not the most amazing city. All right, yeah, now we need to get back to our base because it looks like uh, Alexander is getting ready to declare war. Which is unfortunate because it means we have to go for a slinger here. Make your way back as fast as you can. Get over here. He's likely to declare war here in the next turn or two. Depends on how many warriors he brings to bear. Yep, here it is. We are going to be in a dark age, which is rough. We are going to choose our pantheon here. Um, what's going to help me, like, right now? I think Goddess of the Harvest is really, really good, but it's not going to help me right now. This would be the ideal pantheon that I could pick. But I won't be able to chop jungle for a long time. Ugh. Desert folklore wouldn't be terrible. We've got a decent amount of desert we could take advantage of. Um, I think I'm just going to have to go for Goddess of the Harvest and hope that that pays off. I'm expecting him to declare any turn now. It was luxuries like air can There's early empire. Let's put in the... Plus 50% production towards settlers. I'm going to put in plus one production in all cities. Um, and then we are going to go for craftsmanship. Looks like he's leaving. I will go for open borders with you. Yes, that's reasonable. No, we kicked him out of our things. Okay. Now we have an archer. So I don't think we need to build another archer. I think one archer should do the trick. Definitely want to get a settler down here, though. Um, let's get started on... I want to be able to chop these rainforests now that I have my Pantheon. And also I want to get Magnus now in my capital city. So that I can chop out stuff. So here's the war that I was expecting. Go here, you go here. I think I'm going to move the archer back at all. So I want to get as many kills as I can here. And reduce the surface area of my city that they have to attack. So now they can only attack up along two tiles, so that we should be able to sustain this over many turns. Alright. I can get a kill here. Nice. You stay fortified there. I'm going to pull you back now to get into defensive terrain to heal up. We want Garrison. 
This way you do more damage per turn, which is necessary to try to get kills. Hoping this guy attacks the city and then we should be able to kill him next turn. Okay, this has to be very carefully done. We need to shoot here. Then kill here. And this needs to be a kill. Okay, we only need to survive one more hit. I'm going to try and force this guy to heal and not attack. I will lose a warrior, but it should be okay. This is a very, very precarious position that we are in. Alright, this is exactly what I was hoping for. The city's going to heal up. We're in a dark age. You're going to move here. I'm going to move this archer to here. You're staying in the city. We are going to kill here. You're going to fall back. We're going to damage here. And hope that we have made it where we need to. I'm going to go ahead and take Exodus the Evangelists. But the downside here is that we are not getting a religion nearly as fast as we should. Get to work on state workforce. Okay, the city only needs to survive another couple of turns. Okay, we have we have we have secured our survival. Perfect. Like we're talking, like we were on the edge there. Like this is such a precise um, set of moves that you need to do to survive this sort of aggression while also getting enough cities out. Now I can probably take my stuff towards him now. Let's do open borders for open borders. You will give me some gold. Yeah, I'll take the one gold per turn. There's a very, very precise set of moves that I've been doing here. You're going to move into this city. Tal, you're going to shoot there. We'll kill there. Okay, looks great. We're going to get this settler out. This is going to be our saving grace that's going to help us get back into the game. Okay. So, this is where things get hard. Because he's, he's attacking us again. But we do have very, very strong units in the form of archers in a really defensive formation that we should be able to chip away at these and then use these blocker units to prevent most of the damage to our city. Um, I think... I want to be able to chop, so I'm going to go for bronze working here. This unit is going to die. I want to get the kill. Here, I want to get you promoted next turn. Oh, it's going to be another turn. You're fortified there just to have uh, a blocker. Sh I'm hoping he attacks me here. Okay, that's good. You're going to take a promotion now. That's going to make you much more dangerous. Once you get a promoted warrior, you're in really good shape. A promoted warrior is a lot more dangerous than an unpromoted warrior. Okay, this is really bad. Minus 18 is like too much for us to sustain. So we're probably going to have to settle the sugar and then settle something else later. Just in a rough position. So, I think I'm not really scared of the Spearman. I think I am going to do damage to it, though. I'm more scared of this Warrior. But I am going to chip away at the Spearman. Because I can get promotions. We're going to do Holy Side Prayers because I need to finish my religion. Um, pretty much immediately now. I don't have time to do that. I'm going to pick up a Trader and send it to... Sumeria. Let's see if we can get a friendship with him again. Okay, good. Having a friendship with Sumeria is really important for our survival because it means it's one less person who might want to declare war on us. Okay, the Spearman is away. Okay, this is a problem. We can deal with it. I'm going to take the... Well, I need to actually kill stuff. I can't take promotions that I would like. Get over here. We're going to settle on the sugar. It's a far from optimal spot to settle, but it is another city that's going to help us out a lot. We're 50 turns in and we're only settling our first city. That's actually really terrible, but we should be okay. 
I don't want to promote you. You stay fortified there. You need to tank this archer for a good few turns. That's your job right now. Just tank. Kill here. Take a garrison promotion. And the great thing about the holy side is it now acts like a really good defensive tile for our archers. Okay. Can't afford to settle anywhere else. Yeah, this is just a really rough start. We are going to need to go to war at some point, probably, to try to recover. This is going to be a useful tile for us to recover a bit. Um, need to pretty much go fast builder in here and chop stuff out. Let's go ahead and take... Pingala is going to be quite good in this city. In Tel Aviv. I don't know if this game is winnable, but certainly it's going to be a challenge. I will look elsewhere in the future, I'm sorry. I don't really have a choice. Okay, I'm going to hopefully bait this archer in closer. We're going to take the volley promotion here. Uh, let's get a friendship with John Curtin. We're sending a delegation. We'll declare a friendship. I definitely want to own one of these tiles. Uh, let's get in position to do some chopping. So how are we working? Right, we don't need to work growth tiles anymore. So I don't need this tile right now. I think I'd rather work uh, plus one production. Yeah. Plus one production is going to make a difference here. So you make your way around. Hopefully he's going to keep throwing units at us. Yep. And we're going to keep killing them. Alright, we want to get this archer out of the way. We want to kill this spearman. You get up here, provide a flank. We're waiting six turns for bronze working. Your delegation is most welcome. This is a really rough start. This is probably one of the roughest starts I've ever encountered. I think I can kill this archer with this warrior. I can do some damage there. Okay, let's trade with Gilgamesh. The plus three gold is going to be a lot. Right, since we're settling so late, we have to go for that thing that gives us the settler boosts. My word, I'm just in a bad position. But I think I'm I think I'm recovered here. I think I'm safe. How many religions are left? There's three religions left. We are second. Really would like the shrine. Um, but I just need settlers right now. I also need a granary in my capital. I think I'm going to prioritize the granary because we are going to be chopping for growth here. And that's going to come in very handy to have lots of pop in my cap. Okay. Kill that archer. You heal here. I think we're going to kill this spearman. You're going to take the battle cry promotion. We're starting to get into a good position now. You hold on there. We'll go to the next turn. Definitely want to see if I can buy this tile as soon as possible. Okay, this is where things start getting scary. These are the units I'm worried about. Look how tough they are. I will not be paying you for peace. Oh boy, all right. We definitely need to focus fire the strong unit here. I don't know if this position is winnable, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to maybe 
go for a re-roll here. This has just put us too far behind. So I definitely want to minimize the amount of damage this archer over here takes. I want to kill that warrior. Cross the river, get that kill. You're holding position. One more turn until we can chop. Okay, you're gonna fall back across the river. There's some barbarians here too. We're gonna chop here. That's gonna boost our pop. We are going to need a another archer. Fortify there. Fall back. This guy needs to be shot. Need to kill his units primarily. We're eating up so much of his production in units right now. But he's eating up so much of my production in terms of just wasting my time. I'm going to play this game out. I think we're in a really bad position. So I think this is going to be an interesting game. I would much prefer a better start than this. But uh, I think this is going to be interesting enough to justify playing. Okay, I need to pull you back now. Definitely want to make sure we're prioritizing that strong unit uh, getting killed. Trading with him, that's getting us good gold. Yeah, look at this damage it's going to do. So we need to get this thing killed. I want to make sure I get this guy rid of him. All right, we've got three archers now defending our capital. Definitely need to go for the government plaza here. Need to send this builder up to my cap. Writing is easy. I'm going to take a shot here. I want the experience and then I'll kill here. Okay, good stuff. Let's choose our tech. So we picked up some basic sort of like good techs. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up walls now. Walls are going to be important for me to defend. Um, God damn, this is a really terrible starting um, position. I think this is actually one of the worst starts I've ever had that I actually survived. Um, yeah, we're going to we're going to soldier on. We're going to power through. We're going to settle over here, I think. You're going to go over there. So here's the builder. I'm sending that up to my capital. That's what I want. To chop out some more of this stuff. Um, in the meantime, definitely want to purchase this tile next turn. Timing on the gold worked out okay for that. Um, need more builders for my capital. Need to chop out all this jungle. Let's try and get settlers out. Okay, what am I going to use here? Let's pick up a shrine. Because I want to make sure I get a religion. And the faith generation is going to be useful too. Wow, I actually can't believe how bad this start has been. Really, really terrible. Easily one of the worst starts I've ever had. All right, we'll go to the next turn. I'm going to chop here. Force growth. 
and get this shrine done a little bit quicker. Get me some faith too. So we're in a rough spot, but I think we can recover and I think we can even have a good, uh, we can actually have a, a reasonably fun and interesting game here. The big, the, the hardest thing is that we have no room to settle right now. That is our biggest challenge that we need to overcome, but I think it is something that we can overcome. I think it's going to be tough. I'm going to have to settle really bad cities here just to have cities. Um, like here and here are the sort of cities I have to settle. And then I need to settle like here and here just to get cities out. Like that's really rough. Um, and then I might have to look into going to war with somebody. But yeah, we're just in a really rough spot. I might, I might, I might go for a religious win here. That might be my best move in this game. Um, we'll see. We'll see exactly how we're going to do it. It's pr probably either going to be a tourism win or a religion win. But our land is in a rough spot. I need to figure out how I'm going to recover here because this is actually like an incredibly difficult position that I'm in. What I will do though before I end this is I'm going to buy this. This is certainly going to help. These two tiles here are going to make a big difference uh, in terms of the science and culture generation for my empire. And we do have two luxuries that we have without needing to settle, uh, without having needed to improve them. Let me see, do you have any gold? You already have sugar, damn. So will this guy make peace? He won't pay me, but he would make peace. I think I'm just going to sit at war with him for a while. I think I'm picking up strong units and I might be able to do a timing attack later with these upgrades on these archers. So that could be pretty good. I might be able to do like a crossbow timing. Um, so I'm hoping that he just keeps sending units at him at me. And uh, another advantage is that if he keeps sending his units at me, he actually doesn't have any units right now. I could go on the offensive, but the dangerous thing is I don't really have the melee units to go on an offensive. I can't really justify getting horsemen. Hmm. It's a tough old position that we're in. It is a tough old position that we are in, but it, I think it's something that we can deal with. I think it's something that we can definitely... We can deal with this. Alright. So, I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys find this interesting. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.